Hello, I am still up late night Saturday night. It's just 12.34 p a.m. though. So it's actually Sunday morning, but it's not that late. Uh -huh. Elizabeth just got home from work a little bit ago, so she had to work this evening. Albert's in the bed asleep. Benny's at his trailer, probably watching TV, if not asleep. Um, I'm getting hungry again, so I'm probably just gonna cook me something to eat. Now, earlier, um, I, um, I was really wanting something sweet, and we didn't have nothing in the house. So I pulled up a YouTube <laughs> video on how to make homemade chocolate pudding. And it was a sh real short video, one minute and something. So I thought, hey, well that can't take too long, you know. So I looked at it, <coughs> or I watched it, <coughs> and, um, it was, let's see, I wrote it down. Let me see, which I done scribbled it through. I'll tell you why in a minute. Let me see if I can see through, yeah. It was sugar, milk, vanilla, salt, cornstarch, and cocoa is all you need to make homemade chocolate pudding. Okay, so I watched it. I wrote down what you needed and what you had to do, and Albert helped me. Actually, he made the chocolate pudding. I got the stuff for him, you know, helped him in that way, handed it to him, read the thing to him on what to do, the measurements. But while he was making it, I was loading the dishwasher of dishes, so I did finally do the dishes. Um, so, uh, the first step is you put six tablespoons of sugar in a pot. Now this is off the stove, okay? You're putting all the dry ingredients first and you're gonna stir them up off the stove. Okay, so then, after the six tablespoons of sugar, you put, I'm trying to, yeah, uh, you put four tablespoons of the cornstarch. Then you just put, he just said, a little salt. <coughs> it was a guy that was making it. And so he said, and a little salt, he didn't give no measurements, so. Okay, so then the fourth step was to put two heaping tablespoons of cocoa. All right, so we put that, and then, then you put two cups of milk, and you put it on the stove. Well, you start all the dry ingredients up first, then you put two cups of milk, put it on the stove, cut it on, kept heating it and stirring it and mixing it together as it heated up through and through and got thick. Once it kind of got thick, you moved it off the heat and you added in one teaspoon of vanilla flavoring. Stirred it up real good and there was your homemade chocolate pudding. So, finished up the dishes, fixed me a bowl of the chocolate pudding Got me a glass of iced milk and came back here and ate some while I watched videos. But I scratched the recipe out, didn't save the video. Didn't like it. There's still more left in there. Oh, it did the job. I had this very big bad craving for chocolate. When you eat nothing in the house, you'll almost do anything. You'll almost just eat a spoon of the cocoa powder itself how I am. Um, so it did the job. It's satisfied. There's still some left in there. And because there's nothing else in the house, I'll go ahead and eat it and finish it up. But, you call me crazy, but I prefer the store-bought chocolate pudding. Or the instant in the box that you open up and mix in milk and make that away. Is a whole better. And I know people are supposed to say, oh man, homemade chocolate pudding, that's the best, that's a whole lot better than any of this store-bought stuff. Uh-uh. Not for this girl. i sorry. Mm. I want my instant chocolate pudding, or I want my already chocolate pudding you buy in the cups at the store suit me just fine. That's the best. So there you go on that.
Okay, and I just thought I'd vlog and tell y'all about that. Um. <sighs> so. <laughs> I'm still not sure what I want to do. Well, I know what I want to do, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do because... I'm not sure what I feel like I need to do yet. So, I just know that I've been missing vlogging every day. I want to vlog every day so bad. <sighs> Y'all pray for me. Just pray for me. I need it. <laughs> um... said I'm not sure yet. Come Monday, I may change again to something else a little different. Or I may end up going back to the old ways. I don't know. So, like I said, just pray for me. Alrighty. That's all I have for you for right now. See, I don't even want to stop vlogging. I love it so much and I've missed it so much. I just want to... I want to, I'm trying my best to think of other videos I can make and put up tonight. <laughs> and I've run out. I can't think of any more. I tried to do another one while ago and it didn't work out. <laughs> It'll have to wait. <laughs> Alright, guys. I guess I'll leave you all alone and let you go to your... Who knows? Maybe I'll do a vlog Monday. The little switching around, like I said, I'm not sure yet. I may stay like this and just do video Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday again next week. It depends on when Monday morning gets here how I feel. <coughs> or I may switch it around this way a little bit. Do videos on Monday. Not on Tuesday. Do videos on Wednesday. Not on Thursday. Do any do videos on Friday. But I'm still gonna wanna do videos on Saturday too. And then not on Sunday. Is that bad of me? So I may do that. Or I may just give up and go back to every day again. We'll see when Monday comes. what I decide and what I do. If y'all don't see a video from me Monday, you'll know that I stayed this route another week at least. If you see a video from me Monday, you will know what direction I went in because I'll probably tell you. Alright. I'm out of here until next time. I'm done. I'm gone. Toodaloo.